And this is like a, is this like, I would say like a Nigerian meal? Yes, yeah. Okay. So this is a Nigerian meal. I'm just okay. adding a bunch of extra stuff to it. But yeah. okay. okay. It's basically a Nigerian party dish, you know, if you were to go to Nigeria. Welcome back to another Zetis at Plate. And as you can see, Zetis at and ready, guys. I am here with Chef Ola from the one and only Oli Smokes. Hey guys, um, I'm Chef Ola, currently the caterer at Churchill's Catering. Um, I'm being presented here by Holy Smokes. And we're here to make Nigerian fried rice with barbecue chicken kebabs. Oh my God, I'm ready. Guys, but anyways, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, guys. And Chef Ola is ready to turn up in the kitchen. And if you don't know, I love me my African food. I love this. He's not making pound lady, I'm telling you, but what he's making is gonna be my first time and it's gonna be lady, I can tell by the smell. Okay, guys, so we're back and Chef Ola is gonna wash the rice and we have some basmati rice here. Yeah, so I'm just gonna start off with I'd say half the bag of basmati rice. Uh, we're making it for three to four people. Oh, Chef Ola, I can eat, eh? Oh, okay, yeah? Don't let this little size fool you, okay? <laughs> I love my tummy. Of course. <laughs> okay. So we're gonna start with washing the rice first. Okay, yeah. You hear that, guys? Wash your rice. I don't eat rice unless it's wa not washed, so wash your rice, okay? And Chef Ola, no, do you say I'm washing the rice? Yes. <laughs> Wash your rice, guys. Oh, and Chef all I want to ask some question while we're here. For sure, for sure. Um, so, what makes you, well, I always ask everybody, what makes you, you know, like you you went into cooking? Um, like this, so you want to be a chef? I know you're in school right now. Is that, you want to be a chef or it's something else you're studying for in school? So right now, I'm not studying to be a chef in school. Why I do want to be a chef, my mom, she was a caterer. So okay. um, I've lived in the States. I've also lived in Nigeria as well. So okay. while we're in the States, my mom used to cater for all the African like college students. Oh, okay. Yeah, that were around. And when we went back home, so I did uh, high school back home in Nigeria. Okay. And my mom, she would cater for weddings, parties, events. So okay. I was always around a lot of food. I was always around a lot of like parties, festivities. So this is just, you know, a part of my life. Oh, and it's part of, it's like almost like you would say part of I wouldn't say culture, but a routine because that's what you see your mom doing. Yeah, that's what I yeah. see my mom doing a lot. And mm -hmm. also when I came to Canada, um, mm -hmm. I came by myself. I didn't really have a lot of options here oh, compared okay. to, you know, the type of food I used to get at home. So I had to learn, mm -hmm. you know, myself how to make these make, things. Make these things, okay. And I mean, did you call mommy on the phone? Of course, of course. <laughs> Over the years, you know, I, mean, I had to the phone, yeah. call my mom, call yeah. my grandma, my aunt, okay. collecting knowledge from everybody, YouTube trial and error um, and just by talking to you before we went on camera i can mm -hmm. tell that you really love your mom and that you really miss your mom of course of course yeah, of yeah. course so yeah, yeah a lot of my cooking is because of her yeah mm -hmm. okay so so right now we're just um putting the rice in the pot um the first step is actually to fry the rice Okay. So what I normally do is I'll wash the rice, I'll put it in the pot. I'll then add a little bit of olive oil. Okay. See guys, show them the olive oil that you're using. I always like to show people. So show them the olive oil. Okay, so it's on great value. And you're from all the way down in St. Catherine and it's yes. like I am so grateful that you leave from all the way in St. Catherine to come up here and do this with me. Of course, of course, okay? of course. And I can tell that you're not too, how, like, how, how's the drive to come here? How long is it from St. Catherine? Like an hour, 45 minutes, almost two hours. Oh so, my God, you thank know. you. I thank you so much. I appreciate it. No that. problem, no problem at all. Okay. Okay, so, so right now, I'm just going to add a little bit of oil to the rice. Mm -hmm. We're actually going to fry the rice during this process. Yeah, and okay. I'm just gonna let that cook. Okay. And you see, I am from Jamaica and I never know that you could do the rice like this because normally 
we're cooking it first. But you see, he just washed it straight to the pot with a little bit, little bit of water and a little bit, sprinkle a little bit of oil on there. So you see, every culture have their own thing, but at the end of the cooking, great meal. You know what I can tell you know what I say? And um holy smoke always showing there like a lot of good food and like I want to thank you guys for acknowledging me, following me and always commenting on my page. All these smokes, I do appreciate that. Okay, so now I'm going through the process of seasoning <laughs> the rice. So, a little bit of salt there. I'm gonna add a little bit of salt. Mm -hmm. Okay, just knock it off, yeah. Okay. And what we'll is add that? add some onion powder. Onion powder. A little bit of that. And guys, while he's at it, let me know. Um, Zeti is, is bringing out her own spice. It's almost there, okay? So soon you're gonna see me in the supermarket wherever they sell the spice. We're coming, okay? Okay, so now I'm adding a little bit of black pepper. Okay, black pepper. I add some thyme leaves. Thyme? Yes. Okay. Time. Okay. Time after time, right? So yep. put some thyme in. Of course. And onion powder. So now we're gonna put some garlic powder. Yep, a little bit of garlic powder. Mm -hmm. And finally curry. Okay. And what kind of curry is that? Is just just regular curry you get or yeah, just regular Jamaican curry. Oh, so you have Jamaican curry inside here. Yeah. Anyways, listen to me. We all we all African descend, right? Of course, yeah. of course, all from the same place. Yeah. It smells good, and it's not you know it's it, it we just started, and this thing smells so amazing. It smells really good. You know, one thing I, I want to say, I think we should have put the whole bag of rice. <laughs> I know I'm going to have fun with this, okay? Of course. Yeah. Okay, so I'll just let that cook down for a little okay. bit and I'll add And I want to be like, a, a, listen, mama not wasting anything here today, okay? You, of course. Young one always trying to waste. We have to work out every dollar. We live in Canada, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Everything is going up. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Let's wash that. <coughs> no, nice. Thank you. So I'm just gonna dice all the bell peppers and I'm gonna dice some onions as well. Okay, my love me my diced onion. Yeah, one thing about this dish is mm -hmm. there isn't exactly one way to make it. It's very versatile, so you can yeah. put anything in the dish. Wow. People put sausage, you can put bacon, you can add chicken. Today I'm adding shrimp in mine. Ooh, la la. Yes. I am happy with that. Yeah, today. And today I am not doing really doing much, but I will help when everything is almost together. Of I will course. be a little sous chef. Taste okay. tester. Okay, a little sous chef taste tester. <laughs> yep. You see, when you, you're African and you're Jamaican, we don't waste anything because, you see, we, we don't waste nothing. Nope. Some people cut that, they throw it out. We don't waste anything, guys. Your mom did a good job, let me tell you. Thank you. Yes, mama, when you watch this video, you did a good job. <laughs> you know, when I'm, when I'm going to Nigeria, yep. I'm going to ask you for your information and I'm going to go meet your mom. Of course. I'm going to go meet your mom, yeah. Okay. Um. And what do you call this? Because everybody has a different name for it. I call it... This? It's yeah. a red onion. I, yeah, I call it purple onion and red onion. Everybody's mm -hmm. like, no, it's not what they call it. Bells, I can't remember the name where they're telling me. It's yeah. not an onion. I'm like, okay, well, in my eyes, this is onion. It's just purple. Yep. Yeah. I call it a red onion. Yeah. So you want me to stir the rice or anything like that for you? Yes, please. I even need to add water to it okay. very soon. So you see, now I'm a sous chef. 
look. Oh Lord, it smells so good. Yeah, so this is the process of actually frying the rice. Yeah, so we need water? Yes. Okay, so just water, grab me so. a little bit of water because I don't know how much water. For sure, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. One circuit. So I'll just add enough water to cover it to the top. Okay. And then I'll let it slow cook until it's soft. Wow. And look at that. Look at that curry, guys. Even out the water. So we're gonna cover it down now. Okay. Yeah. Cook. Okay. Now I'm just going to cut diced onion. And we're doing all the cutting on the Zetis athlete cutting board. So how long have you guys been doing your podcast? No, the podcast has been for a little while, mm. but Zeti is just from December, I think. From December I started, yeah. Oh, that's good, that's good. Yeah. But like, I was so happy being a part of the podcast, you know, Friday is such a wonderful person. And of easy to, sometimes I think he's too soft, he let people walk on him. Or, I wouldn't say people walk on him, but he's just, yeah. I, I, and that's, a, yeah, so. Well, like, I don't mean literally anybody walking you. You know, like you never say no. I never see you say no. He's always yes, to him, you know, trying to help somebody out. Of course, you know. You know, it's not a bad thing to help people out. People just take advantage. Yeah. And, you know. But 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 sometimes you have to be careful of who you help. You know, and of that's course. something that I learned in this country. You gotta be careful of who you help. Yeah. Yes. Me <laughs> flip the script. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so the last thing that's going in this is going to be spring onions. Okay. Okay, so he called these spring onion. In Jamaica, we say skellion. And in Canada, they say green onion. And, I, and to me, I just never get it. Because so I'm going to separate the two halves. Mm -hmm. This half will be for garnish. This half is going into this mix. Okay. Yeah. So. And what you call the dish again? Um, Nigerian fried rice. Nigerian fried rice. Okay. Yeah. So I'm just going to save half of this for later. later. Uh -huh. um, and then I'll put this together with the rest of them. And now it's going to be time to wash. Yeah, because it's the fry rice, Nigerian fry rice. This is gonna be my first time, and I can tell you, it's blowing up inside here. Look at all the vegetable we have over here, ready to be in the fry rice. And like I say, this is our side dish. I can't wait. And this is a part of the reason why. I didn't really get into the, the catering business because preparation is not easy, guys. It's not easy. It's very hard. It's hard work. I do do a little bit of catering for, you know, like friends or people, some close people to, to me or whatever, but to go out there and do it for business, I, it's a lot of work. You don't waste anything over here, guys. I'm just gonna let this soak for a little bit. So mm -hmm. we're gonna get we're gonna get water. So put out some vinegar on it with some water and then we're gonna put it to, to soak. Okay, let me check on this spot when we're at it. Oh my god, look at that guy. Look at that. It's so pretty. Mmm, the aroma. Wow. Yep. Okay. Okay. So let me let me get the aisle out over the pan for you. You see I'm the sous chef. Okay. Yes. So now these shrimps, I just season them very simply. Salt, black pepper, uh -huh. garlic powder. Um nothing special. Don't want to yeah. season them too much. Yeah. So He's saying for the shrimp, just onion, garlic powder, onion powder, salt, and black pepper. Yeah. Okay. Mmm, smells nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah.
And then how long you leave them on one side? Um, I'd say like two minutes, one, two minutes. Okay. Well, honestly, I don't even need to cook them for too long because yeah. it's still going to go back in the sauce anyways yeah, and yeah. cook again. So, after like a minute or something, we just put them. When I just start cooking, when I, you know, was getting into cooking, uh -huh. shrimp, my aunt used to tell me, why are you frying the shrimp so long? <laughs> you know, in Jamaica, it's like it's too long. Yeah, when you see the turn and the curl up, you know you're over frying mm -hmm. them, right? Oh, yeah. So, but yeah, I'll try not to cook them for too long. Though. Wow, chef man. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, let me turn the pot for you. There. you. So, I'm just gonna crush one garlic. One garlic clove. Yeah. Mm, this smells so good. I could just eat that with something right there. <laughs> yep. Yeah, so I just crush one garlic clove very quickly. And when he says one garlic clove, you mean one garlic clove. Yep. I like a lot of garlic in my food. Yeah. yeah. Brings out the flavor and the vegetables. Mm -hmm. I don't, I try not to use a lot of seasonings. Well, I use a lot of seasonings, but you know, mm -hmm. try not to overdo the seasonings. So yeah. You can get a lot of the taste from the vegetables. Yeah. Take out the taste from the vegetables. Mm -hmm. yeah. Exactly. You see that? You see those are the chef techniques Chef Ola showing you guys? <laughs> <laughs> Ola! Here we go. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. I mean, my boys cook, but nothing like this. Just boom, bam. Just boom and bam, and they're done. <laughs> <laughs> and it's always cheesy with those boys. Oh, yeah. Everything is cheese. So, just add a little, little bit, bit of oil. more oil, yeah? Right. And I will spread it over for you. Thank you. Okay. Add the garlic. Wow. Mm, I love to smell garlic cooking. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to glaze the chicken with this. Okay. Oh, it's almost done. So, mm -hmm. so a little bit of oil. A little bit of oil. crushed chili peppers. That's pepper? Yeah. Yeah, nice. Mm -hmm. Love spicy food. Mm -hmm. Can you just help me turn it? Yes, please. Just look at this. See, I'm a sous chef. No matter how you take it out. Yep. So, once this is almost done, we can mm. add the vegetables. Yes, add them in. Yep. Whoa. Yep. So, so allow this cook for a little bit. Wow, this over here smell like Jesus love me. Okay, smelling good. So, while that's cooking, I'm going to... You want me to cover it so it slowly cook a little bit? Um, let me add the mixed veggies. Okay. So I'm also going to add those mixed vegetables as well. And I'm going to go over here and, and show you just the text for the rice. Look at that. Huh? Look at that. This is what you call cooking, guys. Put a little bit of barbecue sauce on So we're just going to check on these things that looks amazing. Oh my God. That's beautiful. That one is mine, eh? Oh, of course. This one. This that one? one? Yeah. Okay, the biggest yeah, one. The, the, <laughs> <laughs> oh my god so i'll just do this side i'll have to flip them in like three four minutes, minutes yeah so i'll just let it get covered all with the chicken so i'm gonna have this available for catering all throughout niagara oh, hamilton yes. Yes. gta toronto Mm -hmm. So I'm starting to do events, um, office, parties, gatherings, office party, yeah. 
Chef Ola, guys. Yep. He's not done yet, and I can tell you, I have something to say, but we we'll wait until we sit down. <laughs> so this is a final touch. Yep. Just the garnish, yeah. the green onions. And some people put egg, right? But some people don't, right? Huh? Some people put egg, or in Nigeria, you guys don't put egg. Well, no, no, yeah. not in this one. Yeah, okay. Not in this one. I'm pretty sure that's maybe Ghana, but not yeah. Nigeria. Yeah, okay. Okay, so once we do that. Well, that's good. Just to mix it in. And that is that for the fried rice. Oh, Lord. Okay, so to the coleslaw, I'm going to start off with a little bit of salt. Just a little bit. Add a little bit of black pepper. Some of the outside vinegar. So all you young kids, look what Chef Olga is doing. Okay, you can learn a lot. So I'm a bit more like a sweet coleslaw. Mm -hmm. Me too. Okay. And finally, just some mayo. I'll say like four tablespoons, two, three, four. I One like mine creamy because you know Zeti like her or coleslaw, like very creamy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now let's just mix it in. Yep. And it's better when you use your hand, guys. You know, yep. like it get that mix right in the, right in there. Yep. That's the homemade coleslaw. I have more vegetables if it's a little too saucy, but uh -uh. it's just the way Mama like it. Pretty much it. Yep. So there we go. Okay guys, so we finished cook and this is a Nigerian fried rice with the chicken kebab, right? Yes. And the coleslaw. Yes. I already taste the food already, I must say that. Because <laughs> you guys know I'm greedy. And I'm telling you, this food, oh, yeah. it's, it's very good. Yeah, I've already said that this is going to be the best one, the best food that you guys have had on the show, for sure. I'm confident and you know, the food looks amazing. It tastes amazing, not just look, it tastes amazing. You see the way this food looks good? This is the way this food tastes, guys. Of course. So of course, I want to ask as a young person, um, how, well, where do you plan to take like this, this business? Um, so for right now, I want to definitely go into more event catering. Mm -hmm. So sporting events, um, office events, let's mm -hmm. say even if you have like games night with your boys or if you mm -hmm. have something planned that you want to go out or something, mm -hmm. I can make food for that, even okay. like a big party. Or so something. do you just make like Nigerian food or you do the Canadian food too? So um, if you were to go online and check my website, uh, my Instagram, mm -hmm. it's um, let us know. Yeah, order Churchill's. Wow. That, yeah. Okay, so, so that's you right there. Yes, order okay. Churchill's. Okay. Yeah. You can get the plug-in from there. So honestly, just follow me there. My menu is there. It's kind of like a mix. So I have okay. Nigerian food, I have mm. Caribbean, I have Canadian, a little bit of a mix. Yeah. Oh, I, that's good. That's good. That's good. Yeah. So how did you end up with like all these smokes? Um, honestly, I met them through a friend. Mm -hmm. um, when I met Holy Smokes, they were very opening, very yeah. open. Um, yeah. Very nice people. Um, they are, yeah. Always willing to help me. Mm -hmm. um, right now, they help me with my content creation. They help me with my social media management. Mm -hmm. And, you know, just everything that has to do, aside from the actual cooking, mm -hmm. they've got me covered, so. Well, that's good, yeah, because I like how they reach out to me and, like, they, you know, they share me. I always give a little comment here and then. So Holy Smokes, I big you up before, but I want to big you up again. And the next question I want to ask you, you're from Nigeria, come into Canada and go to... Um, I went to Brock. No, yeah, oh, to Brock University. Yeah. But where you live now, St. Um, Catherine, that's yes. what I'm talking about. So how is that for you, like from Nigeria to St. Catherine? Um, um, it was okay. <laughs> it's, it, it, I'd say the transition, it was, it was kind of a lot. It's kind of different because I feel, you know, 
when it comes to the cultures back mm -hmm. home a lot of people are very welcoming mm -hmm. you know you can easily go to your neighbor's house everybody mm -hmm. here is kind of like closed off uh, not really as welcoming yeah you know canadians are nice don't get me wrong yeah but, you know i just feel like that sense of togetherness is not really here but you know i've met a lot of great people yeah. um i've met a lot of people that you know i'd like to keep for the rest of my yeah, life yeah. so you know yeah. it's got its pros and cons but overall it's been a learning experience that's what i could say okay um yeah years ago i follow a friend down to saint catherine mm. <laughs> and uh <laughs> i just you're like i it's it's a wonderful place but mm. like you said it wasn't welcoming for me mm. and that's just my experience so i don't want anybody to judge and go say saint catherine but just my experience yeah and that's why i want to ask you that mm. you know so yeah but toronto is my city so guys i'm going to get into the food but before i get into the food don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and go follow ola on instagram of course so i'm going to dig in for you guys how's it <laughs> You're gonna get me in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> it's great. It's 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 more than great. This is excellent. I yeah. love this. Yep. Mm. Yep. This is good food. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Okay, guys. Again, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Chef Ola, you nailed this. Thank you me. did your thing. I'm taking home food. Uh -huh.